What is up, brothers and sisters? It's Jay Campbell, and you're listening to the Jay Campbell Podcast. Join me for regular deep dives with amazing beings whose work is manifesting a golden age. And remember, you create your reality by your focused thoughts, conscious words, and intentional actions. Raise your vibration to optimize your love creation. Hey guys and gals, what's going on? Don't ever wait for your doctor to order blood tests. With Private MD Labs, you can get your blood test prescription online in under one minute and go directly to over 4,000 lab locations in the United States. They offer every blood test imaginable at affordable prices with highly accurate results from tried and true state-of-the-art blood testing diagnostics. In fact, I've been using Private MD Labs for more than a decade. Their blood tests are much more in-depth and accurate than any at-home pinprick or worthless saliva test. Skip the intrusive doctor questions and get the exact tests that I recommend. Be proactive and get your panels today. Go to privatemdlabs.com forward slash JC to take 15% off your order. Send you guys love and light. Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, wherever you might be around the world. I am Jay Campbell, and this is, of course, the Jay Campbell Podcast. Thank you for showing up. I'm very excited today to be joined in my virtual StreamYard studio with my new, uh uh-oh, I turned to the wrong side, my new guardian and companion, Master Yoda, Carolyn Chang. Carolyn, how are you? I'm very well. Thank you, Jay, so much for having me as your guest. I so appreciate this. It's amazing to have you. So you guys, I did a podcast with Carolyn on her podcast recently, and it was profound. And she made such an impression on me that I literally was like, you're coming on my podcast right away. And magically, but not coincidentally, because there are only synchronicities in the universe, an opening opened up today. And of course, she was Johnny on the spot and jumped right in. So I'm so blessed to have her today. So as for the purposes of timeline, it is Thursday, November 4th, 2021. Let me give you guys Carolyn's bio. Um, She has been producing and hosting her podcast, which is Awake to Oneness Radio for six years. She launched it six months after the transition of her son, Kyle, which he shared with me previous. She's the founder of the Kyle Foundation, which is Keep Your Light Expanding, amazing, and co-founder of Universal Oneness Alliance. She's an inspirational speaker and author, that's for sure. She gives talks and presentations at many conferences, podcasts, and spiritual centers. And she has written a chapter in the newly published book, We Touched Heaven, which is a collection of experiences that reach beyond the veil. That's why she's on the Jay Campbell podcast. She's also in the process of writing her book, A Touching True Story of a Mother's Triumph from the Devastation, Devastating Transition of Her Only Son, and sharing her journey to awakening to the truth of who we truly are as sovereign divine beings of light. Caroline, that's amazing. Thank you so much for being here today. We're going to go all over the world today on this podcast because when you get two people of resonance together, you only create resonance. But let me just ask you, um, and we can obviously just carry on the discussion that you and I just had, like, what is happening? Where are we going? You know, again, it's early November, 2021. What do you see happening in 2022 and beyond? Okay. Well, I know, bottom line, the light wins. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I know everybody's calling this a spiritual warfare that we're in, but I I have from day one called it a spiritual chess match, a game, Um, because everything is vibration, as you know, and words have vibration. So the, the word war is a certain vibration. That's a low vibration. But a game, a chess game, it's a, it's a much higher vibration. But we the light has already won this. Now looking, especially if someone's looking at the mainstream news, they're not thinking that. But I stopped watching mainstream news 20 years ago. Oh, right. So it's not new for me not to watch the news. Um, but I, I know that the light wins. Yeah, has already won. How we get there, when we get there, it's we're we're going there. It seems slow to us, you know, in our human form, 18, 19 months of this craziness. It seems slow to us. But um, from the spiritual realm, that's very fast. We are moving fast to the fifth dimension, to the new earth. And I believe in our lifetime, we will be living uh, completely in 5D realm. 
completely in 5D New Earth. That's exactly right. And I agree that same thing. And by the way, as you said that, it was 3.33 on the live stream <laughs> uh, timeline, which again is only a synchronicity of yes. children of the light, which you and you and I both are. Um, yes. I want to talk about oneness. You know, th this is one of the things that we talked about in our podcast. Um, and I really like that about you is that you understand that. And I know I even talked about the book when I went into Machu Picchu, the children of the light and, you know, the light was coming in from the sun right on the book in the bottom of the bookstore at 6 AM in the morning in Peru yes. um, at the base of Machu Picchu. And it's just that the idea that, as I told you off air and what we again talked about on the podcast is that all of the beings of resonance right now, again, the children of the light, the ones who are awake and aware to what is happening are right. all coming together, you know, indirectly, without even consciously being aware of it, right? Like it seems like we find people who are of the same like mind, you know, through our everyday perusings on the internet, you know, watching videos, sending out emails, creating content. We just continually generate more and more like-minded people into our reality. And again, that is due to the science of oneness. The quantum yes. dictates what you, what you think tends to manifest, right? So what you're focused upon is what you create. And I love the divine reciprocity angle. The cosmic mirror is always in effect. What you're putting out is what you're giving off. And what you give off is what comes back, right? Again, it's that mirror, that two-way divine reciprocity. Um, can you talk a little bit about that, the science of oneness and just really what that means, especially right now and how important that is? Yes. Well, it was the science of oneness that woke me up in 2007. It was basic quantum physics and I'm not a scientist, but I understood it was an, it was a heart and soul awakening when I understood the unified field and what they call quantum entanglement, meaning there is not, everything is God. God is yeah. all that yeah. is. And it's yeah. holographic. Now, when we right. think of holographic, we have to understand like our cells in our body. We have trillions of cells exactly. in our body. And one tiny cell can, um, someone, if they know how to clone, they can take a tiny cell from your body and clone another J, identical J, just from yep. one. So that's what holographic means. Rumi's quote, you are not a drop in the ocean. You are the entire ocean in a drop, meaning each one of us is all of God in a drop. Even the trees, I'm looking at trees and grass outside, they're all God. It's yeah. and they're holographic, they're all of God. So we're not a piece of God, we're all of God. And when I understood that at a heartfelt mm -hmm. soul level, not intellectual, so this is not right. with the mind, this is with right. the heart and soul, that every person on the planet is one with right. me. Every right. person. And, and and so all I can feel is love for everybody, no matter what you. they do, me, no matter, you know, I there's no judgment with oneness, there's no judgment, there's um, conditional forgiveness, conditional, uh, uh, unconditional love, I'm sorry, I said that wrong, unconditional forgiveness, right. unconditional love, no judgment, because you know they're all God doing the best they know how in that form. Oh God, you're all God masquerade, masquerading as people. Right. And that's beautiful. And let me contrast that with, as you know, the whole Abrahamic religious teachings, which teaches the opposite, which teaches that God is external and that, you know, I mean, I, I, you know, what you just said, I, I, I imagine like a Bible thumper of, you know, an, you know, I should say an Abraham, an Abrahamic adherent who's so focused on his quote unquote literal scriptural teachings that what they heard you say is blasphemy to them because it is blasphemy to them because they have been brainwashed and conditioned to think that God is outside of themselves. And as I said to you on our show and you just, you know, you and I could go so deep on this and maybe we will is that whoever Yeshua was Jesus, the avatar being the Christ, Jesus, the Christ, Jesus Christ was an invention of the Romans as I was telling you in this book, you know, mm -hmm. this guy, Paul Wallace, who's a 33 year minister, he declines it better than anybody I've ever seen. Now there have been others, but the bottom line is this Jesus, whoever he was, Yeshua, he said three things that mean anything. 
And everything else is probably fabricated or made up by the Romans and whoever was the dark side that was influencing the Roman Empire, the Imperial, the Imperial Army or the Imperial Fleet, the dark side in Star Trek or Star Wars. It's the same thing. The dark side is the imperialists. Yes. The bottom line is, is that Yeshua said, I and my father are one. My, my, my father's house has many mansions and anything you can do, I can do, you can do better. And then the other thing, and these are all really four things he said. The kingdom is inside you. Yes. So when people realize what those four statements mean, it's exactly what you just said. Yes. That God is the source frequency of all things and no thing. Yes. It's the energy and frequency of the all. Yes. And the all is the energy and frequency that you and I can access by being of a mind that we can access it. Yes. It's not Santa Claus in a white robe sitting in a golden chalice with a trident because they want it to be external so that you're always a looking for your savior and B never being accountable for your actions. Exactly. Very true. Giving your power away to them, the priests, the church, the money, the banks, the doctor. I mean, I can go on and on and on. It's always externalizing your power, keeping you disempowered in victimhood, never yes. taking accountability for your actions. Very true. Very true. And that's so important because when I understood, when I w- awoken in, in 2007 to the truth of oneness, the first thing I realized is God is not outside of me because I was sent to Catholic school like you, you know, Catholic school experience from K to five to fifth grade. I was in Catholic school and my parents were saying children are to be seen and not heard. So I couldn't really <laughs> talk. <laughs> oh, seriously. I couldn't so really say. Yeah, I couldn't really say at that age, yeah, five and six years old, you know, no, 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 no. But I felt from my soul. No. But you knew, yeah, your soul knew. I knew, your soul. knew no, no, no. This is your soul not- was screaming out. Yes, yeah. yes. It was in fact, that- it's the opposite, as you know, at child at under five. Yeah. Baby children are at as advanced as they can be when they're in the physical meat suit body, but then and then the matrix, the third dimension of duality clouds yes. their ability to see what they knew as children right exactly very true very true if babies could talk we could so learn so much Absolutely. from a newborn baby if a baby you know because they they have it they we you know the, the matrix the 3d matrix which is collapsing right now exactly in front of our eyes the collapse started 19 months ago for anyone that has the eyes to see and ears to hear the, the 3D matrix is collapsing and know that it is on its way out. I do believe that um, right now, I do believe that the earth, mother earth, Gaia is a living being and she's raising her frequency and everything on her has to raise with her. And if, if uh, an individual does it and it's free will, we, yeah. we're all free will. If an individual chooses not to raise their frequency for their own ju- soul journey, we don't know why that soul decides right. not to raise their frequency at this time. And that's fine. Then then they will be leaving this earth because they will not be going to the 5D. Yeah. That's know? exactly right. Let's now let's stay there because that's beautifully stated. So it's my opinion, mm-hmm. and I love what you just said. I want to stay there. It's my opinion that. They're not raising their frequency specifically because they are choosing to learn and grow through the contrast of a different frequency. So meaning each soul comes into various incarnations and is playing a role to, again, evolve and grow that soul, their soul. But every time they come in, it's likely at a different um They have a different job, a different task, different things to learn. Because as you said at the very beginning, source consciousness, God is learning and growing from every single soul's growth and evolution as a soul. Like you said, they're holographic fractals all connected to one, you know, source consciousness stream of frequency and energy. But it's, it's interesting because some of the ancient texts, when you go back to like the Bhagavad Gita and you, and you, and you also look at the Maharaja and these things, they talk about. The journey of the soul is to graduate in the third dimension. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. And the only way you graduate in the third dimension is to realize that it's about giving and receiving love, right? And you get to a level or a vibration, as you said it, and I always say too, where you're in resonance and you don't have, you don't, there's not much more to learn, right? So to, mm -hmm. to there, I mean, there's infinite numbers of things to learn, but meaning right. from the third dimension that once you get to a place of the only thing that matters is what you said is heart awake, heart awareness, heart yes. and soul awareness and giving and receiving love. It's my belief and my opinion, almost a knowing that you will progress, right? but where you progress from outside of this dimension is, you know, anybody's guess. I mean, you can speculate it's fifth dimension, sixth dimension, seventh right. dimension, higher state of awareness, higher state of vibration, whatever it is, it could be all the same. But, right. it, but I do see the third dimension as a school. Yes. You're here yes. to learn as a soul. And again, as you, as an individual fractal of the big oversoul of God, learn, so does God. Now, you can't right. say that to, you know, the adherence, again, of the fundamental Abrahamic religious teachings. Because if you say that, that's blasphemy because God is all knowing. Thou <laughs> shalt not have false gods before me. Right? I mean, like. You, you, you cannot tell people who think that God is omniscient, right? Right. That God is learning. Right. But when right. you realize that energy is not destroyable, it's not contractible, it's ever expanding and it's infinite. Right. Then of course, energy is also ever expanding and growing and learning right. just as source creation. God, AKA universal consciousness is growing and it grows from all of its overs or its holographic fractal souls, which are humans and other life forces, you know, going down the path. Right. Now we could use a different word than learn because it's more so remembering who we truly are. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. instead of saying, so we, to me, God, God wants to experience everything and God is experiencing everything to us. We think of God so singular, but God is everything. The ant, right. the spider, the tree, God, right. that exactly. God. Exactly. and God wants to experience everything everything that can be experienced and right. so god is having those experiences right. through all of us and we our individual soul is actually has free will so when we're in spirit before we incarnate we decide what we want we decide what we want to experience right. or learn or remember and we right. know that every soul i believe their um ultimate um in the 3D realm, their ultimate thing they want to do is remember who they right. are. Who they are. Yeah. Thyself. Right. They want to remember they are God. You know, right. and if you, like you say, right. if you say that to uh, a right. fundamental Christian, yeah. they'll beat you up with the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> they'll hit you over the head with the Bible. Right. I'm glad you a, said that, Carol, and that's yeah. true. It, it, that's yeah. better put than me saying learn, because yes, yeah. we are at soul level, learning and growing, but we are attempting to remember because yes. we choose to forget with the veil of forget for, for, veil of forgetfulness when we incarnate in a physical body. Exactly, exactly, and it's about experiencing life because yes. all that's real right. of this three D matrix is the experience of it. That's exactly Nothing right. else. It's an it's illusion. It's a dream of our own totally. creation. Totally. Hey guys, what's going on? If you're looking to level up your life from a mind, body, and spiritual perspective, join the Fully Optimized Health private membership group today. There is no better place online to discuss hormones, peptides, fitness, fat loss, supplements, and even raising your consciousness with an elite tribe of men and women. You also get to speak to me directly every single week in the Ask Me Anything. Join today. Go to Fully Optimized Health dot com and sign up and i'll see and talk to you soon and by the way experiencing without judging right because how many of us experience things in our life that we define as bad cataclysmic a debacle a collapse you know we define them through negative lenses yes and then when as soon as we do from that as you know we stop the evolution and growth because every single experience is a learning opportunity. Exactly. Yes. And every single moment now, mo and really there's only the now, but in every single now moment, there is a blessing. There yeah. is something, something we can say, oh, I lack this or I lack that, huh. but there's a blessing. And if you look for the blessing, you'll see it. That's so when exactly we right. know that every moment is a blessing, even when my son transitioned, I was at peace. 
I was at peace for because of what I went through with him for the past the last three years when he was here on this physical plane. I went through so much. I realized that everything happens in perfect divine timing. Yeah. All this craziness yeah. we're living through right now in 2021 is happening in perfect divine timing. Beautiful. And it's all gonna it's all gonna be beautiful. You know, we have somewhere beautiful that we're going. Which it's is so amazing. beautiful, and I'm a hundred percent agreement. It's not an agreement; that's a knowing. Yes. Doctor Hawkins mm -hmm. said, "The guy that created that map back there said that," and I love the statement. Everything is happening as it is divinely intended, always and in all ways. Yes, exactly, exactly, and we have to look at that. So here, even at the moment of my son's transition, I knew it was his soul's time. Even he was only 29, that was his soul's time to leave. Every soul comes in to this life experience at perfect divine timing. Every soul leaves at perfect divine timing. I knew it was a soul agreement he and I had that I would be here longer. He wasn't going to be here that long. Yes. And that um, he, he was not going anywhere because there is truly no death. And I still have to send it to you. I have my son's from spirit. I have my son's voice on audio tape wow. and images of him from spirit. And I still have to remember to send you that video. Please. Yeah, that yeah. would be amazing. That would be so amazing. Well, let me ask you, how long, how long has it been now? Seven years. So what is the likelihood he's already back? I could be because you know what? Here's the thing. We think so linear, but everything right. is happening in the now, meaning... Right. We're living all of our lives right here exactly. and now. Like say if I, I had a thousand lifetimes, they're right here and now. So yes. just like him, he's still, you know, things are so not linear right. in the spirit realm. So when that's we exactly understand right. that everything is happening now, that's, yeah. uh, yes, yes, very true. Uh, so, but to your, to your son, you know, uh -huh. that's exactly right. And again, I know, Look, I'll just say it. I know some of you guys are going to watch this video. And again, the Jay Campbell audience is very high conscious now. So I don't have a lot of the three-dimensional linear beings that are still following me. But for some, yes. you know, they come here for like health optimization and stuff. You know, they're probably going to get freaked out. You know, I know you Bible thumpers are going to attack me probably <laughs> and leave nasty messages yeah. on my YouTube channel. But that's okay. I just instantly say blocked from the channel. Okay. So you, your, your comment will never show up. But at the end of the day, what you said is a hundred percent true. I have meditated on this deeply. I have read profound spiritual texts that talk about this. Anyone with a level of awareness, again, through inner work, through connection to your higher self, right. knows that every soul chooses exit, entrance and exit. Yes. They choose their route, meaning they know what they're going to do while they're here. They choose their parents. Yes, yes, yes. And they choose their challenges. Now, our challenges are our greatest blessing. Like exactly. my son's transition was my greatest challenge, but it was also my greatest blessing. The soul so, cannot grow or evolve without contrast. Exactly. It doesn't come into perfection. We were perfect at the beginning and we yes. descended in yes. consciousness to experience evolution and growth. Exactly. What good is perfection if all you ever have is perfection? Exactly. You won't grow. The soul doesn't grow that way. Yeah. Now, look, I know there are people out there that will say, and again, it's up for debate. The reality is, did, you know, fallen angels, lower, I mean, I shouldn't say lower, higher dimensional beings come into this dimension and hack, you know, the consciousness stream and tweak us or modify us genetically you know, so that, you know, again, and there's, again, various opinions, you know, some say, well, they hijacked us to increase our consciousness. Some say, no, they hijacked us to make us their slaves and prey off of our negative energy or our victimhood energy. Mm -hmm. I think all is partially right. You know, there's again, yes. light and dark factions of everything, especially in the third dimension where the, the, the pendulum is always swinging from the light to the dark. You know, you right. go into the dark yes. and you come out into light. Right. But at the end of the day, Bottom line is we're in the third dimension. Now you yes. and I are having this con this, you know, co this conversation in consciousness. And what matters is people getting to a place where they start to realize that 
their job, their income, their physical things, their material reality is not what matters. Exactly. What matters is raising your consciousness so that the planet's consciousness yes. increases. Because something you said I wanted to stay on, okay. and I know I shared this on your podcast, but for my listeners, when you said that God is all things, the spiders, the trees, the wind in the trees, the rocks and the water. Yes. That is so true. And listen, I did not really truly understand that until I went to uh, Peru and mm -hmm. I was standing in the lake of Lake Titicaca with my bare feet, with my wife and my friend, uh, my sales director from our, our real estate team and his wife, George and Liz. Mm -hmm. And we had an indigenous Chequin guide and he made a ceremony and no, it wasn't a plant medicine ceremony. It was just an indigenous ceremony on the lake. It was an offering to right. the mother of the lake, Lake Titicaca, one of the seven wonders of the world. And, and I know I told you this, but I'll say it again. I keep saying this. When we did this, the lake came alive mm. and each of us felt a kiss. It was, it was like this warm embrace over our bodies. And then instantly all four of us like spontaneously started to cry. Wow. Now I cannot ex describe that other than to say that it was one of the most magical moments of my, or at least this physical incarnation. Right. And, you know, uh, all of us, when we came off the, uh, cause we were on the edge of the Island, we were doing a, a, a tour Right. Uh, to, and got back on the boat to go back to the, the bus, to go back to our hotels. Mm -hmm. We were just overcome with emotion and we were so enlightened, I think is the right word. But like, it was at that moment in time that I felt the attachment to the planet. Yes. For the first the time in my life, my, the planet felt as if I was connected to it. And I, I swear, I, I will never in my life again. And this was back in 2019 when this happened. Dude, I can't even kill an animal. I mean, I can't kill an insect. Right. I cannot yeah. step on a bug. My daughters right. were like, yeah, kill it. And I'm like, I'm not going <laughs> to kill it. Not going to kill it. Outside. I try to capture them and free it. And put them outside. But yeah, yes, exactly. I mean, literally, I mean, you know, and then it's also too with like, um, with garbage. Like mm -hmm. if I see plastic on the ground outside, I go and pick it up and I throw it away. So it's like. You know, the, the indigenous have a word for it. They call it on me. Mm, okay. And that is a divine reverence for all things. Things, exactly. Because all things are conscious and sentient. Even the rocks and Even the, the trees rocks. are yes. conscious. But you know what? That's in the Bible. It's, it is, a but verse it's in the Bible that says God is in all, in everything. And I can't quote the, you know, the, the right. where it is in the, the Bible. The Bible has the truth yes. with error yes yes strategic yes. error by yes. man and the dark side right you know who wants to hijack man's consciousness to give energy and what's really praise energy to them right. so they can siphon it off and fuel exactly. and eat it you know whether it's archons or whatever you call these interdimensional beings that literally parasitically right. feed off of our negative energy exactly Yes, yes, yes. They then that's why they try to keep. That's why the media and the news is the way it has always been is to keep us in a low vibration. Because when we're in the low vibration, we're giving away our fear. They okay, so let me it. let's talk about that. Okay, because I can give a concrete example that everyone will be able to relate to that just happened three days ago relative to that. Now I know you don't pay attention to the news, and neither do I. But somebody sent this to me. Okay, via Twitter. So. The football player plays for the Los Angeles Raiders, wide receiver, number 12 pick in the draft, rookie, was, was starter on the team this year, literally got wasted on Monday night in Vegas and drove his brand-new Corvette 155 miles an hour wow. with his girlfriend in the front seat and ran into a woman and her dog and killed them instantly in a ball of fire. Now, they released a video yesterday, mm -hmm. uh, you know, of course, on one of the uh, – garbage back channel um you know tmz okay and it was literally of him sitting on the corner while the car burned with the body of the woman in flames probably in the dog drinking complaining that he crashed his car now my guess at that point is you are watching a parasitic energy being inhabiting his soul at that moment, and again, I know I'm crossing the boundaries here with people, but let me let me finish. There are a lot of very smart people who've mm -hmm. talked about these energy beings, these okay. archons, 
these parasitic energies, uh, you know, Juan Carlos Castaneda called them the flyers. There's a lot of really smart people that talk about these energy beings, again, feeding off of your soul energy when you are in low vibration. As exactly. you know, being wasted with alcohol, spirits, alcohol, yes. Yes, yes, literally yes. creates a portal in your soul for these beings to come into. So again, I will give you guys, go watch the video. This mm-hmm. is a good guy. He literally was in college. His friend, his best friend died in a car accident tragically. And he, every time he scored a touchdown, he would talk about his friend and he donated every touchdown and d- dedicated every touchdown to his friend who died in a car accident tragically. Right. And now this happens to this guy. Now some form of karmic yes. retribution or some sort of karmic game. Right. His soul is playing Yes. Now he's dealing with this. And so now his soul is going to have to deal with this. He's going to have to go to prison for 20 years. He's going to mm-hmm. lose his you know, career. You know, he's going to be a famous athlete. It's all gone. Right. Right, right. But I would say, and this is just my opinion, that in order to do that, and again, he comes out of the car. He doesn't try to render aid. He's not looking like he cares. Okay. He's under the influence of these parasitic energies, whatever they yes. are, archons, flyers, you right. know, demons. You know, gin, yes. there's a million names for them, but yes. they're here. Right. And if you're here yes. all the time, yes, you're opening a portal for them to come in and inhabit you. Exactly. Exactly. And that's the key right there is because what you're trying, what you're saying is not to put people in fear, to let them know they need to keep their vibration yes. high. So, yes. because when your vibration is high, they can't touch you. You right. cannot be touched. That's you exactly cannot- right touched exactly by the dark right. side if your vibration is high. Carolyn, so, do you realize that to that point, and I know we talked about this on your show, mm-hmm. it's the same thing with the C. Mm-hmm. The people who get the C literally think about not getting it. Their mm-hmm. focus is on being in fear of the C. Yes, 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 yes. And so exactly. what happens is you consciously you, attract it into your field. What you focus your attention exactly. on, you're going to draw to yourself. Amazing. Definitely. Definitely. So it's all about, and I've been saying for the past 19 months, it's all about keeping your yes. vibration high. Right. And if, in fact, if you're up here, you can't get any disease. Exactly. 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 No, but Jay, that's not true. You know, <laughs> so and so, but but look, you know, I will also make an argument, and I do this in my courses and stuff like that, but like uh-huh. if you are physically, and we talked about this on your show too, but if you are physically unhealthy. Yes. If you don't exercise, you don't take care of yourself, you don't eat clean, you know, right. you don't reduce your insulin, all these things that we could get into, you know, it's a discussion for another podcast. Right. You still create a level of inflammatory physiological conditions in your body that again mm-hmm. causes you pain and discomfort, which then makes you lower your vibration right. because right. again, you're in pain. Right. And you're in suffering. And when you're in pain and suffering, you automatically release inflammation or inflammasomes and the inflammasomes lower your vibration. Right. But you know, Jay, the body, we okay, because we are mind, body, and spirit, right? Yeah. And it's right. truly the body is the last place it shows exactly. up. There's a problem exactly. in the mind. There's an uh, yep. emotional problem. Yep. There's a spiritual problem going yep. on that shows up in the body. Yep. So it's, you know, you if when you are of, when you meditate or do whatever, when I say meditate, just being in a high vibration is exactly. a meditation. And if running and exercising lifts your vibration, do right. that. If walking in the woods lifts your vibration, do that. Right. Whatever lifts your vibration. Now, if you stay at that high vibration, you're not going to get ailments in the body because ailments is the last, it's the, your body is the last place where it shows up. It's first in the spirit and it's in the mind. It's in your emotional state of being. And then it shows up in the body. Yes. Carolyn, you're singing my tune. I love you. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's the truth. I mean, I tell people this all the time and I know you do too, but it's like, look, all physiological disease first stems from a traumatized spirit. Yes. People do not understand that. People who get cancer, yes. heart disease, type two diabetes, all of these things that happen to people physiologically first stem in the spirit. It's an exactly. amputated slash traumatized spirit. 
and then never having that trauma integrated or looked at, you know, and again, it's at a soul level, you're not willing to look at what is causing this trauma. Exactly. And then, as you know, it leads to physiological behaviors yes. that create disease conditions, right? For somebody with type two diabetes, they eat emotionally, right? They're eating yes. sugar, they're drinking yes. alcohol, they're eating like, uh, what do you call it? Uh, fat, you know, carbohydrates, um, yes. you know, boxed food stuffs that oh, process up their food. insulin. Yes. Processed foods and yes. Exactly. Processed foods, GMO foods, right. So yes. over time, that continual slash habitual process then leads to inflammation, which causes cellular degradation. And then it leads to, again, diabetes, glaucoma, whatever. All these conditions that people get, yes. they create. You know, you say exactly. that, but how many people that you say to them, I'm sorry, you created cancer. And they'll look at you like... <laughs> What yeah. did you Dude, say? You get punched in the face. So Cancer runs in my family. How <laughs> dare you? Yes, yes, yes. So, Cancer's uh, genetic, Jay. Yeah. Well, anyone that says it's genetic, I say look up the work of Dr. Bruce Lipton. Uh, yeah. I'm sure you're familiar with him. Of course. He has proven, the, you know, everything and everything I'm grounded in and know has been proven scientifically. Yeah. And um, but Dr. Um, Bruce, he has proven that no, our it's not our genes. It's it's no. in no. our field. Exactly. You know? It's epigenetics. It's your environment. Yeah. It's how you live. And look, yeah. it's simple. The last thing a person should do today, Carolyn, and we'll just say it is go to a yeah. doctor's for anything. Exactly. I agree. Unless you're shot, right? If you're well, yeah. shot and you're bleeding out and you need the bullet excised, different yeah. story. But yeah. other yeah. than that, you can heal yourself just as Dr. Lipton says, just yeah. as uh, what's the, what's the lady's name that has all of the, um, she has like the, my wife has her app. It doesn't matter. There, there, you, we can yeah. self heal. Yes. The body can heal. And you're yeah. right. The only thing Western medicine is good for is trauma. Exactly. Now you're in a car accident right. and you've got lots of lacerations and a broken bone and they're good for that. That's the only But even then, if you're not bleeding out like me, I refuse. And by the way, I have a funny story. When I was sitting on the curb and the EMT truck was there, you know, evaluating yeah. all of us, making sure our vitals were good and everything. The guy was like a cool, you know, yeah. young, tatted up white dude, probably like 26 or 27. He kept looking at me. He was definitely one of us. Yes. Okay. And he kept saying, but you know, he's got, you, you got to be covert. He was like, Hey bro. He's like, uh, you, you're okay. You're testing out your, your BP, your pulse ox. You're good. He's like, you, you don't want to ride it on the bus. And it's, as he's saying it, he's like, you, you don't want to ride it on the bus. Right. 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 And then he's kind of giving me the whole, like, you know, yes. ride. and yeah, I'm like, yeah. nah, man. Yeah, I'm good. Yes, I'm good. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I mean, seriously, the dude was playing. Like, I know yeah. who you are. You know who I am, but I got to be on the up and up. Yeah. And so, yeah. Regardless, regardless of what your job says, regardless of what anyone says, you know, you live your truth truth and you have those high vibrational conversations. You stay high vibrational and you have high vibrational conversations. Now, if you run into someone like I did at the gym the other yep. night, yep. you run into someone who doesn't want to have a high vibration conversation, you just wish him well. Okay, I right. gotta go. Exactly right. Wish you well. <laughs> you know, you just don't allow yourself to be lowered. Hey guys and gals, what's going on? If you're looking to use peptides, make sure you go to my number one source, Limitless Life Nootropics. For healing with BPC-157 and TB-500 or fat loss with ipamorelin, CGC-1295 and AOD-9604 to immunity with TA-1, thymus and alpha-1, Limitless has a huge selection. Go to LimitlessLifeNootropics.com and use my code J15 to take 15% off your purchase. I send you guys tremendous love and light. This is a good point. And then I want to talk about the great awakening and then we'll end. Sure. But the, the truth is, is that, and this is the hardest part for people. Yes. Because people do, you know, again, good human beings, good souled human beings truly do want to do good things and they want to help, but they allow themselves to sympathize. Yeah with people who are not vibrating at the level they are. And that is the biggest mistake. It's okay to send them love or light or warmth energetically. Yes. But to mix it up as you had to, and we all do, you know, 
through our various days and lives literally lowers your frequency, drops your vibration. And now all of a sudden you are in the same energy construct that they are and whatever they're vibrating in, watch yeah. out. Right. It, it may show up around you. And, you know, case in point is road rage. Mm -hmm. Being, you know, being in an accident or not being in an accident, but being in an environment where somebody cuts you off and then you engage in the same stupid behavior because you're like, why would you do that to me? We've right. all been there. Right. right but right. the master has to say, you know what? I send you love and light. Yes. And you literally energetically do it. Yes. You recognize that you're not going to have a conversation with this person because this yes. person is only going to pull you down. Exactly. And you're going to be like, you know what? I'm so sorry. I'm late for a meeting. Whatever you come up with, you're yes. going to leave. And then as you're leaving, you're literally in your mind saying, God, I, I really would appreciate if you could send this person love. Yes. Because yes, exactly. now you're sending them an energetic vibration of resonance, which yes. as you know, overcomes dissonance. Yes. It stops the frequency of negativity and fear, which is what dissonance is, and yes. actually allows them, even in a dissonant state, right. to all of a sudden be like, wow. That person yeah. didn't challenge me. I feel exactly. Better. Yes, exactly. But also, you know what, too, I think a lot of people misunderstand is pity. The the mm -hmm. emotion of pity. When you horrible. When horrible you to do somebody, that. that's a very low emotion. And horrible. you're not how actually if you're pitying someone, you're not you're sending them low vibration. That's what? exactly right. Look, apathy is the same thing, and it's 50 on the scale. Yes. Exactly. exactly. So you should never pity a person. Right. You should exactly what you say, send that person love and light. Like I knew, like I was leaving the gym and this lady was coming in and I know what machine she works on because we run into each other all the right. time. And as I was driving home, I'm, 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 picture, I'm envisioning her on these exercise machine and I'm surrounding her with love, light and healing. Beautiful. The whole yeah. ride home, surround her with love, light and healing. And, and they do their their spirit, their soul feels right. it. And right. so pity is a horrible emotion. Do not pity them. You have to send them love, light, and healing, but don't pity. Keep keep your vibe. It's all about everything's vibration. Everything is vibration. Okay, so last point is yeah. a perfect segue is humanity's great awakening. Now, as I told you off the air, and I want to talk about it now, we'll end it end it with this conversation. Is what if and, oh, and let me I'll, let me take a step back. We know right now, because we see it every day, that millions of people are waking up every day. Yes. Now, when true. we say waking up, we're not Carol and Chang, Jay Campbell level of waking up, but they're, you know, they're waking up to a point of like, whatever I've been told is bullshit, right? So exactly. now they're at the level of like, oh shit, I've been lied to. Now, yes. as you know, and like the, what is it? The Linda Ross Keebler stages of awakening, you right. know, there's shock and then there's grief and then there's whatever the third one is. And then the last one is acceptance, right? So these people are nowhere close to the idea that children are being eaten and drained of their blood, right? That's like acceptance, right? They're nowhere close to that. But now they're like, wait a minute, I'm being lied to. Right. Okay. So they're at that stage one, stage two coming into. Yes. And it's like, I as I talked to you off the air, what if, and this is a what if, mm -hmm. what if the dark side, the dissonant, whatever you want to call them, the fallen consciousness, the parasitic energies, what if their last play, because as you and I both know, the light has already won across all timelines. What yes. if their last play is to get the dissonant and fearful out of the matrix so that the matrix can become the fifth dimension? Meaning... Right. They're giving them the choice to take the you know what on their right. own free will and volition. Right. Amidst obviously the lies because it's mm -hmm. pressure. Right. But they're giving people the opportunity and the fully freedom of choice to right. say no or to take it. And right. if, if, if taking it, and I'm not saying that everybody gets the V is going to go bye bye. I'm saying right. that you may have problems later. Right. But if they are attempting, Carolyn, to get the vibration of the planet higher, wouldn't it make sense to have the fearful opt out? Well, okay. I see it a little bit differently because I, I look at Mother Earth Gaia as a living being, which she yes, is. It is. She and, is 100%. 
And she is, she has decided, Mother Earth decided, I am raising my frequency to the fifth dimension. Right. Now, whoever is riding on my back wants to go. That, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, if you, you don't raise too, bro, or you yeah. ain't going to make it. Exactly, because if you don't raise, you're not going to make it. Yeah, so, exactly. And, and exactly like what you said with these Vs, I, I believe all things are possible because I do believe the body sure. can heal itself. So oh, absolutely. Can, you know, but so, you have to be vibrationally capable of doing Exactly, yourself. exactly, exactly. So most of the people that choose it are not vibrationally capable because they're in right. fear, right? Right, exactly. But right. they ha always have an every now moment they can choose. That's exactly they can right. make that choice. Well, I agree with that. Now, and that's what one of my good friends is, keeps telling me. He's like, no, dude. He's like, they're not all going to, There, some of them are still going to wake up after yeah. they get it. And they'll still get that choice. And right. so that's kind of where we, you right. diverge and debate, but I, I will definitely give you that all things are possible in yes. source creation and consciousness. And truly, yes, that's a great point to end the show with. Gaia is a conscious yes. living being. This, it, yes. this planet is definitely tired yes. of man destroying the planet. I mean, exactly. I mean, I mean, think about this. And my yes. wife and I were talking about this yesterday morning in the gym. Okay. What have we done in the last 100 years with all this wondrous technology and advancement and modernization, but what of any of it has not damaged the planet? Exactly. All right. Exactly. Yes. Dude, there is a 400, I'm sorry, 4 million ton okay. floating blob of plastic in the Pacific Ocean right now that nobody can do anything with it because what do you do with it? Oh my God. Yeah, I hear so you. think about what we have done, Carolyn. Yes. With all of this great wondrous technology, we're still creating biodegrade products right. that aren't biodegradable, right? Technology that is destroying the planet. We're still yes. killing trees at a rapid rate, we're still expanding and contracting and yes. destroying this beautiful, luscious ecosystem of planet yes. Earth. It cannot yeah. continue. Exactly, exactly. The, the modern man is so disconnected from yeah. God and from nature that it definitely, so like I said, she's raising, and the thing is, it's so, we can't even envision how when the frequency of Gaia is in the fifth dimension, how she is going to heal herself. Right. Just she's a body, just yeah. and she will heal, and it will be miraculous the way she she can heal. So, and we will be there to witness the healing of her, and also our bodies are are changing into more crystalline. Yes, we raise our frequency, we become lighter, and our body becomes crystalline instead of carbon based. There's so many wonderful things that. How many people do you think will make it though to the fifth dimension? You know, if if I know I'm putting you on the spot, but we no, have no, no, what they say we have eight billion people here. Right. How many people? are truly going to be able to raise their frequency to attain the light body, the crystalline frequency, you know, the introns right. to come on their latent DNA circuits to fire. Right. What is right. your prediction? It's a prediction. Okay, it's now, opinion. Here's again, again, I'm taking this from science. Yeah. High vibration, light vibration is so much more powerful than the mm -hmm. low vibration. So in essence, we are talking about oscillation, by the way. Right. In essence, we don't, it doesn't have to be like 51% of the planet to yeah. make it. And right. just a tiny fraction of light beams. There are enough light, light workers like you and me on the planet right now where we are going to save many of those. We're, okay. I, it, it's hard what it's going to look like, but we're going to save a majority of the, the ones who want to be saved will be right. saved. Exactly. Exactly. That's, I mean, because, that's the best way to do it. I mean, look, I, you know, we can't, we're both, Light warriors, you and know, it's not to say, and let's not say, no, let's not use the Christian term save because, yeah, save is a horrible word. And right. true, and truth, every soul, no soul is ever harmed. In truth, that's exactly right. Okay, and so the souls that decide to stay in the 3D matrix, because there still will be a 3D matrix, yes, and the absolutely. souls that the souls that decide there's no judgment. And there's no condemnation. Right. They just, their soul path just needs more That's time. Exactly right. They're not ready for a higher They're not ready. Yet. They're not ready. But soon they will be because every, every being will return to the light. That's exactly point. right. As so, Walter yes. Russell said, yes. the journey begins out of the womb into the base of the jungle to the top of the mountaintop. And everyone is walking the same path, path back to perfection 
at different rates and speeds. No speed is better than another. Exactly. So, yes. So there's nobody lost. There is no loss. See, I'm glad you said that because that's where I even get caught into my third dimensional constructs of like, you know, some go and some don't. But the reality is everybody is taken care of relative to their vibration. Exactly. So your vibration will will align you or match you to where you need to go. And again, needs a horrible word, but you're right. There will be many souls that will stay in the third dimensional construct or timeline. And it may be quote unquote, a doom and gloom timeline, but that doom and gloom is still what they need to evolve and grow. Exactly. Exactly. And then, as you said, they, when that, when they get through with that timeline or dimension or physical body death, whatever you want to call it, avatar expulsion, they'll take another avatar and hopefully they're going to progress to a different consciousness. I mean, a different uh, incarnation with an enhanced consciousness over and above where they were previously. Right. Because just as all of us will go into the fifth dimension, hopefully. Yes. Advancing our consciousness. It, you know, like you said, becoming crystalline, not having duality anymore, not having to worry about any of this nonsense. Exactly. We'll be living, it will be heaven on earth, right. and we will be living in our crystalline form. It will be our higher self. So we right. will remember all of right. our lives. Yes. You know, all of our life experience when we're in the 5D. Right? The acoustic record will be right there. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And also remember, I know because the third the third dimension is so dualistic with yes, good and evil. Remember that the yin yang symbol. Remember that's God. So what yes. we call evil is still God. It's Absolutely. not separate. It's just it's, a shadow. It, it, it's it's evolving and growing our soul just as the light is. Yes, exactly. You have to to know to know energy, you know that energy is infinite, so yes. that each side of dark and light is the same thing. Yeah, exactly. That's why so I always like the hermetic teachings. The hermetic teachings are about the pendulum. Yes. The pendulum is always swinging. Yes. And it's going to go into the light. It's going to go into the dark and your vibration determines whom you serve. Exactly. Exactly. So you can serve the light always, yeah. even when you're in the dark. Right. right. Or you can be in the dark and never serve the light. You always right. have a choice in the third dimension. And you know what? Yes. I think we could probably make a really good debate and argument that each of us have served both at various right. points in times and various incarnations. I believe so. I believe that's very true. I believe we definitely have done it all. That's why there's no judgment when you right. understand the truth of oneness, because right. you're not doing that in this lifetime, but you did that in another lifetime, you know? Exactly. So, yes. Carolyn, you are amazing. I'm so grateful that you came on the show here today. I mean, you definitely made my day a lot better. I'm going to put all of her links up here, but if you want people to follow you, to connect with you, to possibly do podcasts with you, like what are the best ways that they can find you on the internet or how would you want them to connect? With um, you? Just go to my website, which is awake, the number two, one, this radio.org. So awake number two, one, this radio.org. You can always catch me, you know, find me there. Awesome. Carolyn, you are amazing. You are a wealth of knowledge. You are a highly, highly resonant being. Every time I speak with you and bask in your energy, I become a better person. So for all of you guys who watch the Jay Campbell podcast, please, as always, support the amazing fine individuals who come on the show. And of course, remember, raise your vibration to optimize your love creation. We will see you guys very soon.